In this video, I'm going to show you how to add more than one value to a parameter. That's right. You actually can add more than one value to a parameter. And I use something like this for promotion analysis. Like you see here on the screen, I could pick the beginning period, I can pick the ending period, and I can summarize the data that's in the middle. Before we get going, if you're new here, my name's Andy Kriebel. I'm a Tableau Visionary Hall of Famer and founder of Next Level Tableau. In the description, you'll see all of the different ways I can help you, from my free newsletter to my starter course, my Tableau Core Concepts course, and my full Next Level Tableau membership. Click on any of the links and you'll get all the information you need. Let's get started. I've gone ahead and connected to my Superstore data source. So what I want to be able to do in this example is click on two months and create a promotional period. So the first thing I need to do is I need to create a custom date for my months. Right click on the order date field and we go down to create and custom date. And I'll give it the name month and the date level I want to use is months. Now I'm gonna pick date value because that gives me the month and the year. Date part would return just the name. Click on okay. And if I drag that up to the columns, you'll see when I hover over, I see the month and the year, perfect. The next thing I want to do is convert that to a string. Create a new calculated field, and I'll call this one month text. And all I'm going to do here is use the string. Converted each of the months into a string in the format year, month, and day. Now notice that is a 10 character long string. That's gonna be very important for what we're about to do. Next thing I want to do is create a parameter. This is what's going to hold the two dates that I click on. So I'm gonna call this my months parameter. And my data type I'm gonna start with is a string. And I wanna set my current value to one of those dates that's the 10 character strings. So I'll do something like 2024, dash 01 dash 01, right? So that's a 10 character date. Click on OK, and then go ahead and show that parameter. Now, before we create our parameter action, we're gonna to need to evaluate how long that string is. If it's 10 characters long, what I wanna do is click on a month and make it 20 characters long. If it's 20 characters long and I click on a month, I wanna reset it to 10 characters. Let's see how we build that calculation. Create a new calculated field. And I'm going to call this uh, text for parameter. And my calculation is going to say if the length, make sure you use the end function, not the length function. If the length of my parameter, so let's just drag that in there. If that's equal to 10, then what I want to do is I want to take my parameter and I want to add to that my month text. Otherwise, I want it to just populate with the month text. And then end. Click on OK. Before I create my action, I need to drag my text for parameter field onto the detail shelf. Now that that's there, it's available for me to use in the parameter. Go up to Worksheet Actions. And we're going to add an action, change parameter. Let's give it the name, Update Months parameter. Now I want this to apply to both dashboards and sheets. So I'm going to click on source sheets and I'm going to switch it to the data source. And I'm going to make sure that only that one sheet is selected. We're going to run the action when we click on something. So let's leave that as select. The parameter we want to update is our month's parameter. And my source field is my text for parameter. Now that text for parameter is available as a source field because it's available in my marks card. When you clear the selection, we want to keep the current value. Click on OK, and click on OK again. And let's give it a test. So currently, our month's parameter is 10 characters long. So when I click on another month, it should tack on another 10 characters after that. So I'm going to click on the different month, and notice now it says February of 2022 on there. Great. Now it's 20 characters long. When I click on a month, it's going to reset it to a single month. OK, this is exactly what I want. Now we can start building out that custom view that is going to show us the range of dates. So let's drag sales to the rows. Notice how Tableau has not connected the dots. Well, that's because this text for parameter is on the detail shelf. So I'm going to drag that field to the path 
And there we go. Now we're connected. From here, I need to take my month's parameter and split it out into two parts. So I'm going to create a new calculated field. And I'll call this my left date. And I'm going to use the left function. And the string I want to evaluate is my month's parameter. And I want to get the 10 leftmost characters. Click on OK. And I want to do the same thing for the right 10 most characters. So let's create another calculated field. Let's call this one right date. And this time I'm going to use the right function. I'm going to evaluate my parameter. And I want to get the 10 rightmost characters. Now, when my month parameter is only 10 characters, I'm just going to get the same date in both of those. Now, one thing I want to do that I forgot to do is I need to wrap both of these functions in a date calculation because I want to convert it back to a date. So let me edit my left date and I want to wrap this in a date function. Click on OK. Now, in order to use those as reference lines, they need to be in the view. So I'm going to right click and drag my left date field onto the detail shelf and I'm going to choose month continuous. Click on OK. I'm going to now drag right date onto the detail. Choose continuous month and click on OK. Now that both of those fields are in the view, I can create my reference bands. I'm going to go to my analytics pane and I'm going to drag on a reference band for the table for the month. So that upper left little section there. My band from is going to be my left date. In my label, I'm going to turn it off. And my tooltip, I just want to show the date. So I'm going to change this to custom. And then I'm going to click on this little right triangle and insert the value. My band two is going to be my right date. My label will be none. And again, I'm going to set my tooltip to custom. Click on the right arrow and choose value. In my formatting, let me move this window out of the way. I want to go ahead and use my lines. I want those to be maybe like dashed lines. And I don't want any fill. And then untick the show recalculate option. Click on OK. Right now, it looks like I have one reference line. I actually have two. They're just laid on top of each other because I only have 10 characters in my parameter. So let's click on a second date. And now we get two reference lines. Let's now click on a single date and we're back to one reference line. OK, so that's working perfectly. So what I want to do from here is find the minimum of these two dates and the maximum of these two dates. So I'm going to create a new calculated field. That is my min date. I'm going to use the min function. And what I'm going to pass to that is the left date, comma, the right date. So Tableau is going to look at both of those fields and bring back the smaller one. Click on OK. And let's create another calculated field. That is my max date. We're going to do something similar, except we're going to use the max function. We want to do the max of the left date and the right date. Click on OK. Now what I want to do is I want to create a line that goes between just those reference lines. So I'm going to create a new calculated field. And let's call this sales in range. I'm going to say if my month field is greater than or equal to my min date and my month is less than or equal to my max date, then I want to return sales. I don't want to return anything else if it's outside of that range, so I'm just going to type end. Click on OK. And I'm going to drag that sales and range on top of this sales axis to give me a combined axis view. OK, now it looks like the sales and range isn't actually showing. But if we look over here on our measured names color shelf, you can see sales and range is underneath of sales. That means that it is behind it. So I'm just going to drag sales and range above sales. And there we go. Now we can see we've got our orange line in front of the blue line. If we click on a single date, we get a little dot there, but that's it. Click on the second date, and now we get that color in our range. Now, if you want to make it look like this, where you have the area chart as well, it's actually quite simple. All we need to do is drag our sales and range over to the right-hand side as a dual axis. We're going to right-click on that axis and synchronize. We're going to right-click on that axis again, move those marks to the back, right-click on it again, and change the mark type to area. And then right-click it one last time 
and uncheck show header. Now my area chart doesn't look quite right, so I need to go onto my area chart marks card. And I'm gonna go ahead and remove the two month fields from the view. And I'm gonna remove the text for a parameter from the view. And there we go, now we have our area chart. You should have a null indicator down here on the bottom right. That's for all of the months that are not in my orange range. So I'm gonna right click on and hide the indicator. And that's how you create promotional periods or any dates within a range with a multi-select parameter. Leave a comment with what your favorite part of this tutorial was. And then go ahead and give it a like and share it so others can see it as well. Thank you very much. And again, look in the description and you can see all of the different ways I can help you with Next Level Tableau.